Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have created a Spring Boot application. So in this video, we'll create a database. Then we will write the application properties. So let's go to the MySQL database and I'll open a new query tab. Let's create a database. You can give any name for your database. I'm going to give a CRUD API. Create database and the database name CRUD API. And I'm going to select the database, use CRUD API. And let's create a table. Create table. You can give any table name you want. Since we are creating a employee API, let's make it as a table employee. I'm going to create a few columns, ID, which is an integer type, and it should be a not null, and it should be primary key, and it should be an auto increment. The second column is name and it should be a var char. it should be 255 characters and gender it should also be a var char and it should be 255 characters and a department it is also a var char it should be 255 characters and a date of birth it should be a date I'm going to select all these and press Control shift enter it will execute the commands table database has been created and we are selecting the database then we are creating a table so let's refresh the explorer you can see that the crud api database along with the table which is a table underscore employee now we'll go to the project i'm going to expand this project let's create a few packages we are going to create a four packages one is a controller package model package dao package and the service package so inside the source main java i'm going to create a package in dot bushan sirgur dot spring boot crud dot spring boot crud API dot controller I think the package name becomes so long it's okay fine Let's copy this and click finish so we have created a controller package and I'm going to paste it one more time and I'm change this to okay something went wrong now what we can do is I'm going to delete this okay so let's copy this and paste it one more time and I'm going to change this to Diego and I'll paste it one more time and I'll change this to service and paste it one more time and change it to model so now we have five packages which is the core package which is having a main file which is a main method and we have a controller package DAO package model package and a service package uh, let's create a classes later first we need to write the properties in the application or properties file so first we need to write the properties for database username and the password and the database URL so spring dot data source dot username I'm going to copy this and paste it and change this to password and copy this and change this to URL since we are using a MySQL database the URL should be uh, already copied here Take this and paste it right here 
जे डी बी सी कोलन माई एस क्यूल कोलन डबल स्लैश लोकल होस्ट कोलन डबल थ्री जीरो सिक्स स्लैश क्रेड ए पी आई विच इज़ अवर डेटा बेस नेम यू कैन वेरीफाई हियर क्रेड ए पी आई यस फाइन सी दीज आर ऑल द स्पेसिफिक टू आर डेटा सोर्स प्रॉपर्टीज इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ डॉक्यूमेंटेशन दैन गो टू दी ब्राउजर एंड सर्च फॉर स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन प्रॉपर्टीज डॉक then it will take you to the official uh, web page which which is uh, docs.spring.io and here you can uh, see all the properties that we have to write it in our application dot properties so but uh, as per your requirements whichever you want to use you can use it from you can refer it from here but since we are working with a data source you can scroll down and you can search for the data source and here we are interested in the spring dot data source dot password uh, you have see the comments like login password of the database as well as the spring dot data source dot user name login user name of the database and uh, of course we need a url which is right here jdbc url of the database and we don't need to specify the uh, driver class you can see that fully qualified name of the jdbc driver auto detected based on the url by default so the spring boot what it will do it will scan from the class path and if you find and it find the mysql driver then it will automatically take the driver class name so we don't need to specify the driver class name that's the beauty of the spring boot so with, the, with that being said the username of my database is root root and the password i have not set any password so i left it blank if you have set any password to your database then you need to specify right here then save this i'm going to close the application dot properties file and of course the main method so now let's create a classes inside the controller i'm going to create a employee controller and of course inside the devo it's devo right Yes, inside the DAO, I'm going to create a interface and the implement implementation class. So first we'll create a interface. Okay, first we'll go to the model class, then create a employee class. Employee. Inside the service, we'll create a interface, which is employee service. inside the service package will create a implementation class employee service implementation and we are going to implement the employee service interface employee service click finish inside the devo will create a interface employee devo and we'll create a implementation class i'm going to call this employee devo implementation employee devo impl which stands for implementation and this is going to implements the employee devo employee devo click finish all right that's it for this video in the next video we are going to start writing a code for our application